This is Tomo News for Wednesday, September 20th. Flexible NFL helmet designed to reduce concussions. This NFL season, about 70 players are wearing a new state-of-the-art helmet designed to lower the risk of concussions. The Vices Zero One was specifically designed to soften the blows NFL players take to their heads during games. The helmet is made of four different protective layers. The outer shell is made from flexible thermoplastic that compresses to absorb shock, then rebounds, much like a car bumper. Next is a layer of more than 500 polymer columns that can twist and move laterally, reducing the impact of rotational acceleration, a major cause of concussions. Underneath that is a hard inner shell that helps prevent skull fractures and brain hemorrhages. Below that, a layer of memory foam provides the player comfort. About half of NFL teams have put in orders for the Vice's helmet. NFL players get to choose their own helmet from an approved NFL list. The league has been looking to address concussions, especially as it has faced increasing scrutiny. Medical experts and players are concerned that repeated concussions increase the likelihood of developing CTE, a degenerative brain disease. Photo of seahorse grabbing a hold of cotton swab goes viral. The increasing amount of pollution, especially plastic pollution threatening sea life around Indonesia, became painfully apparent when a photo of a seahorse went viral. Justin Hoffman, an American photographer and activist for US-based environmental conservation group Sea Legacy, was snorkeling recently in Sumbawa Island when he snapped this photo. The image features an adorable seahorse swimming along with none other than a dirty cotton swab in its grasp. In his post to the photo on Instagram, Hoffman expressed his worry about the future of marine life and how our actions will shape the planet we live in. Eight researchers from seven universities and institutions in the U.S. have found that China is the biggest contributor of mismanaged plastic waste in the world, with 8.82 million metric tons being produced annually. Indonesia creates 3.22 million metric tons of plastic waste, while the Philippines produces 1.88 million metric tons. As plastic is not biodegradable, it breaks up into tiny pieces in the ocean, where it is then consumed by fish and other sea creatures. The chemicals contained within plastics are also released into the water and the atmosphere. The Ellen MacArthur Foundation and the World Economic Forum report that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. Are you scared now? Dubai Greenlight's world's largest solar power plant. The world's largest concentrated solar power plant is about to get even more juice. The Dubai government has given the green light to a 700 megawatt addition to the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park. It currently has 2.3 million photovoltaic solar panels with a 200 megawatt capacity. Capacity is expected to grow to 5,000 megawatts by 2030. Developers say the park will eventually cover 214 square kilometers with a 260 meter solar tower taking center stage. The solar plant produces power by using lenses and reflectors to concentrate sunlight in order to heat fluids, which then in turn produce steam to drive a turbine. The advantage of this type of solar system is that it's more flexible because energy can be stored as heat and used as needed. A drawback is that they are more expensive than photovoltaic solar plants. At least 138 dead after powerful earthquake hit central Mexico. Tragedy and disaster have struck Mexico for the second time in less than two weeks. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake killed at least 138 people in central Mexico on Tuesday and left millions without power. According to the Los Angeles Times, 44 buildings collapsed and 30 people were killed in Mexico City. Soldiers, police officers and firefighters, as well as residents, are working to save people from damaged buildings. Earlier this month, an 8.1 magnitude earthquake killed 98 people in southern Mexico. Sea lice wreak havoc on worldwide salmon supply. There's something fishy going on with the world's salmon supply, and it's not something the fish are doing. According to the Associated Press, parasitic sea lice have infected salmon farms in Chile, the United States, Canada, Scotland, and Norway. Once a parasite infects the salmon, it becomes inedible. Previously, salmon were fed a pesticide to defend against the sea lice. This was reportedly effective until 2009, when the lice began to overcome it and spread globally. Fewer salmon, but consistent consumer demand, means higher prices for all things salmon, unfortunately. 